Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Valerie, and we're at my home. Today, we're going to review another smart door lock. Uh, this is the Hugo Log. It's a touchscreen smart deadbolt. Now, we saw the Hugo Log at CES with, you know, the lots of other smart locks that are there. But this one's really, uh, really nice looking. And it's interesting because uh, you can use it with Bluetooth or you can also add Z-Wave compatibility. So they give you two little adapters. This thing here is the Z-Wave adapter, this little it's guy. so little. And this is the Bluetooth gateway. Very cool. All right, let's All right, take a look. So why don't we take a look? So They sent us this, didn't they? Yes, Hugo Log nicely sent us this lock to review. And it's pretty heavy here. It's a nice package. You know, they didn't even have a sticker, you know, that seals it up. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you needed it because it was so hard yeah, to open. Yeah, it's tight, so it's a nice job here. All right, so here we go. So it's packaged nicely in this plastic box here. Well, this is the inside part of the lock. So it's, ooh, it's heavy here, so that's the inside. That's what's controlling all the stuff. All right, once you hold on to that. Right. And this is what goes out onto the front door. And this is really, it's very nice looking. It comes in oil rub bronze. And this is the front part with the touchpad. And then this attaches through to the inside. To this here. That part. And look at this, it comes with a rubber gasket to seal it from the weather. Oh, that's nice. But you're that's right, it, it is really heavy. It's very heavy. And you know, normally yeah. these things here are not attached. This one's attached. I don't know if I'm gonna have to take it off to install it or what, but. I guess we'll find so out. So that's that there. All right. Here is the. The dead bolt. The dead bolt. So there you go. All that's right, all one dead bolt. bolt. And here's a lot of the hardware you need, the little strike plates, strike plates. screws, little rings and stuff like that. Well, lots of stuff in here. Lots Look at of that. Stuff in there. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder what they all are. All right. All right. Is that it? How and about directions? Here's the programming instructions. There we go. So this is the Hugo Log HU04. Yeah, HU04, that's right. There you go, the directions. Hey, let's take a look at this, though, because look at all the gadgets. I mean, it's totally exposed. I'm surprised. Just look at this, just totally exposed board. Um, and this looks like some sort of a, almost like a switch in here. I wonder what that's for. And well, um, Warranty void if removed, whatever that is. Whatever it is, don't it. remove it. I think okay. that's just the serial number. And there's a little thing to connect your cable up, so I bet you this cable here probably fits on here. Yeah. That's it. So we'll we'll have to go off yeah, and install it. This thing it. goes in between. Well, yes, I'm sure that's probably <laughs> sitting somewhere. Uh, but this is inside the house, so this probably fits on like this somehow. And well, we're going to find out because we're going to install it. And then we have the A gateway. gateway. Another gateway. <laughs> wow, a lot of parts in here. Let's see. Parts, parts, and more parts. Okay, so the gateway is a very simple little device. Yet another thing we have to hook on somewhere. And it comes with a power adapter. So another power brick. I guess we can open the bag. Give you the power brick. And probably a cable, I imagine. It's a cable to power, yeah. The cable to power. Now the nice thing I like about this, though, is that it doesn't have the, the AC adapter here, which means if we can find somewhere else to plug this thing in, like that already has power, Mm -hmm. Then we don't need then to use the power brick. So power brick, yeah. why don't you go in and install it, and we'll come back and tell you how it worked. Before we install the lock, remove your old lock, including the bolt. Check to make sure you have all the parts that came with the lock. Note: you will need four AA batteries as they are not supplied. You'll also need a paper clip. First, let's put the bolt into the door. Make sure the up is up. Add the screws, and then test that the bolt moves freely by using your screwdriver in the bolt assembly and turning it. Now, attach the touchscreen to the outside of the door. Note, if the hole for the lock is one and a half inches, you will need to remove three screws and remove the piece. Ours was two inches, so we left it on. Check that the gasket is seated and then feed the wire under the bolt. Then add the plate, making sure you can see the up. 
Feed the wire through the bottom hole in the plate. Insert the screws into the plate and into the touchscreen. Make sure the plate and the touchscreen are vertical. Now let's install the back of the lock. This is where most of the electronics are. First, you need to insert the turn bar into the lock horizontally into the hole in the plate. This is what turns the lock. Connect the cable to the back. Be sure to line up the marks on the connector. It's easy to connect. Put the back onto the mounting bracket while carefully routing the wires so they are not pinched. The knob needs to be in the vertical position. You will likely need to fiddle with it a bit to make it flush to the door frame. Add the three small screws to secure the back. Now, open the door and turn the inside knob to test that the bolt will extend. Add the batteries. And finally, before you put the battery cover on, you need to do a reset. This is an important step, so don't skip it. Just insert a paper clip into the tiny hole in the lock just under the batteries. Hold it for around 10 seconds until the lock closes the bolt. That's it, the lock is installed. Now let's set up the app. First, download the app from the App Store and set up an account. Provide an email address. They will email you a code to verify. Enter the code and then when prompted, enter a password. Accept all the dialogues and you're done. Before adding the lock, click me at the bottom of the page. Add yourself a nickname. Just click on your username at the top and click nickname. Now click on home management. Click on my home. Give your home a name. You can also set your location, which we recommend, as it then provides some weather info in your area. You can also define rooms. We created a custom room, courtyard, and deleted the other rooms since we don't need them. Now, go back to the home screen and let's add the lock. Click Add Device or click the plus sign in the upper right corner. Select Smart Lock and then Lock Bluetooth. You will need to reset the lock with a paper clip. Hold it in until the bolt cycles. Confirm you heard the voice prompt. Don't worry, I didn't hear it either, but it's still ready. Click Next, it will find the lock. Click the plus sign. Click Next, it will show Added and have your room name below it. Click the room name. It is now added. If you click the lock name, you'll get the lock screen. That's it. You have your lock installed. Now click the pencil in the upper right hand corner and rename your lock. You can also change your icon by taking a picture of your front door. Now go back to the lock screen. Click set on the bottom of the screen to add lock codes. Press password management, then add password. Select user, enter a four to 10 digit password, then give it a name. This makes it easier to change the passcode later if you want. Now you set your code and can return to the lock screen. Press the lock icon and you will be asked to confirm you want to unlock the door. Confirm, the lock will unlock and the icon will change to an open lock. You will also see a small message with the time and the user that unlocked the door. To lock the door, don't press the icon, press the auto lock message in the white box right below it. The lock will lock. Now, let's unlock the door from the touch screen. Just touch the screen to wake it up, enter your code and then the pound symbol. The lock will unlock and you will see a green bar on the bottom. To lock the door, press any number or symbol on the touchscreen for two seconds. The lock will lock. A red bar will appear. Now your lock is installed, the code set, and it works with your app or the touchscreen. If you received a Bluetooth bridge, you can add that to control your lock from anywhere. Otherwise, the app will only work if you are in Bluetooth range. Plug in your bridge near the lock. Go to the home screen, press the plus key. You should see devices to add, gateway, if not selected from the menu. Press go to add, then the plus icon. Enter your Wi-Fi info, confirm. The app will show it added. Press the room name to select the room it is in. And then done. Then select the gateway and press the add device by list on the bottom of the screen. Select your lock and then press immediately to join. Select add finish. Click on the lock name and press the three dots. Now you are back at the lock screen. Now you can unlock and lock your lock from anywhere. To add another user, press user on the bottom of the lock screen. Note, the user will need to have the app already loaded on their phone with their own account. Press the plus key and add it now under the family section. Enter a name and an account. For account, they are asking for the user's email address. You can allow the user to be an admin or a common member without privileges. Once you click save, they will get a notice on their phone and they need to accept it. 
the new user will be able to see the lock and gateway on their phone. Now you need to give them a code so they can open the lock with the touchscreen. Go back to the set screen and add the password this time for the new user. Now you have set up a user. You can use the set function to give yourself additional codes and even add more users though they will need the app. We found it easiest to give ourselves other codes to use to give to others so they don't have to install the app. You can always delete those codes later. You can select other when setting up the code. This will let you provide the code temporarily with an expiration date and time. These users will need to download the Hugo Log app and accept your invitation to use the lock. You can also set the lock to auto lock in the set function. You can set it to auto lock from 10 seconds to three minutes. Note that when you do this, if you unlock the door from the app, the icon does not change, but the lock will lock after the time you set. Pressing unlock record at the bottom of the lock screen will let you see who unlocked the door and when they did it. Unfortunately, it does not show the record of locking the door. There is also an alarm function which shows you when someone tried but failed to unlock the door from the touchscreen. The lock will set the alarm after 10 consecutive attempts and will lock the touchscreen for three minutes before you can try again. So Mark, how was the installation? It was pretty easy. The uh, installation of the physical lock, very simple, pretty much like every other uh, door lock that's out in the market today. Um, so that went really well. Uh, it looks good and um, it's fast. It's a pretty fast lock. Now setting up the app, that was a different story. So it's not hard to use the app to set it up, but the user interface is a little clumsy. I think it's the best way to approach it. Um, and as you can see from the installation, uh, it was able to be done, but you kind of jumped around a lot doing doing the different steps. But afterwards, once it was done, it worked great. What did you think of it? Well, the lock itself is really nice looking. It's very solid and it's really a good looking solid lock. And like you said, it's really fast. We've had a lot of different smart locks over the years and this one's really fast. It's not too noisy, which is really great. And I think once you have the uh, code set up in the app, so you know you, you use your punch code to get in on the touch screen, that's the way you're gonna get in yeah. most of the time. And once that's set up, it's really easy to use, it's really fast, and you can have as many of those codes as you want. Um, when you use the app to open the lock, it's a little, I mean, it's functional, but it's a little, it's not, I guess it's not very elegant. Um, so I think there could be some improvements definitely on the app. And one thing I would really like to see them improve is the uh, interface for sharing the lock with guests. Because uh, right now, if you want to actually name somebody and give them uh, guest access into your house, uh, even if it's temporary, you have to actually have them download the app. And that seems silly to me. It seems like it'd be better if you could just assign them a temporary code and then be done with it. But you can still assign codes. You just don't assign them to a specific person. Yeah, well, I so, showed that in the installation. Yeah. So it works. Uh, so you can get the functionality, but it seems like it would be a lot easier if you could just set up a, a temporary code for somebody that's coming in. You know, it's your your dog walker or your guest, right? You don't want to make them download the app every time. Right. So um, what else? Any other things you notice about the uh, the um, door lock? No, it's a it's a great lock. It's at a really great price, so it's definitely worth checking out. Okay. Thanks for watching our video today. We've included more information about the product we reviewed as well as links where to buy in the description box below. And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you can find out when we do our next video. And for more smart home stories, visit appmyhome.com. Thank you. Thank you.